Today, on this episode of Fly the Flag with Team AFN, we welcome Anthony Casillas, national business coach for AFN, to discuss the importance of mentorship in sales with our host, AJ Berfumo. Let's listen in. Hello, Team AFN, and once again, welcome to the Team AFN Fly the Flag podcast. Our podcasts have been so much fun, and talk about fun, talk about exciting. Today, we probably have the most fun and exciting guy here at AFN, here on the podcast. I'm so excited today to have Tony Casillas with us. Tony Casillas, our national business coach. You talk about fun, you talk about exciting. This guy brings it. This guy flies the flag. This guy is red, white, and blue from the minute he wakes up. So the minute he goes to sleep, I don't even know if this guy goes to sleep, but <laughs> Tony Casillas, so happy to have you here today. Welcome to the Team AFN Fly the Flag podcast. Thanks, my friend. It's so good to be with you today and to be with all of Team AFN today. It's, it's exciting. It's a great opportunity to be with you, so I'm, I'm really happy. Now, you've been here at AFN more or less since the very beginning, right? Yeah, I started almost 13 years ago uh, when Jack Sherman hired me. I think we had just a couple branches. And now we've got well over 300 branches. So I've, I've gotten a chance to be a part of that vertical growth that we went through. And now this really dynamic national growth with incredible teammates all over the country. So it's it's been an honor for me to just be a part of it. It's been an honor. It, it's something that I talk about all the time on, on my calls is from a small shop in Southern California. Did, did John and Jack ever know that the, the company was going to explode to the size it has today? And, and you've seen a lot of that growth. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's hard to pinpoint if somebody really knows how great something is. But I think what really happened was what makes great companies is great people. So they they brought on great people like John Gwynn and Twyla Hankins and Scott McGinley and just these, these powerful, Susie Sensenbach, these powerful people that really build culture and built a really powerful foundation that we could really move forward with. And they built an entrepreneurial model where people could just plug into a platform and be an entrepreneur. And I think that was one of the reasons for their success. A hundred percent agree. So as far as success, we know a lot of success with team AFN loan originators here has come through the benefits of mentorship in the mortgage industry. Uh, Of course, you being a national business coach, um, it's your passion the mentorship, how you believe in it. So let's take a few minutes and let's talk about that. Whether Team AFN members or mortgage associates out there that are looking at AFN may want to join AFN. Let's talk a little bit about some of the benefits of mentorship in the mortgage industry. Well, for me, I mean, I have to start with testimony. Mm -hmm. It changed my life to be mentored by really three really incredible. I think we're always mentored by everybody around us, like our branch managers, our regional managers like yourself. We're always being mentored and maybe not necessarily coached, but guided. And so for me, mentorship really changed my life. Coaching really changed my life. My father-in-law who got me in the business 28 years ago, I still write loans today. I don't write loans like I used to, but I've been writing loans for 28 years. And he got me in and he really got me started. Uh, I got mentored and coached by a gentleman named Jeff Page in Chicago and really taught me for five years how to be a powerful facilitator, seminar, corporate speaker, business coach. And then to be mentored over the last 10, 12 years by Jack Sherman, uh, our founder of Team AFN, and really changed my life. And really what they taught me is be a master of your own destiny, Tony. You can walk in your greatness that you are. And then Jack really taught me about the power of the ownership mentality. So I think just having those mentors for me encouraged me to want to become a mentor and a national business coach and it put me on a different trajectory i love supporting people Mm -hmm. and creating a different trajectory for their business a couple ideas about mentorship is it 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 supports a power perspective a different perspective it's like the mirror story it's like in your car without your mirrors you can't see your blind spots a great coach a great mentor will support you in this power perspective a different perspective than what you might not, what you might see in your business. So I'm able as a mentor and yeah. a business coach to support people in seeing what they may not be seeing yet. I love to have the mindset of the 400 trillion to one mindset of just to be born on this planet. The odds are 400 trillion 
to one. Can you imagine that? We're already talking to one. Wow. Planet, and I love to infuse that truth into people like, listen, you're a conqueror and you can be whatever you want to be. There's steps we have to take. There's these pillars of success that we follow, but I'm driven to impact people. And I think having a good mentor and maybe even the right mentor is powerful because you can impact others in a positive way. And I, I just think that, you know, having a success partner is a powerful thing for people to be able to give people support at the highest dynamic level and always be positive in what? Being transparent. When you're supporting people and supporting accountability, it's about being positive and encouraging and inspiring and motivating and creating a leadership duplication so they can maybe even do a little bit of what you did while they're kind of building their own niche, their own way based off their core values and their strengths. But I love this opportunity. It's like a growth conduit. When somebody can get part of a powerful mentorship program, I've done over 8,400 coaching sessions in almost nine years. That's that's a lot of that's a lot, that's a lot of sessions. Yeah. And so good mentors, good business coaches, they meet people, professionals, where they are. Yes, I've developed a matrix with over 70 different models that we can choose from every time I talk to somebody. But at the end of the day, I meet them where they are. And I support them with where they are and where they want to go. I'm a big believer in intentions. And you'd be surprised, AJ, just how many times, because I believe what really drives us and really what dictates our success is our choices to be great, right? Our choices every single day to be great is what dictates our success. And you'd be surprised at how many people I've coached over the years have created self-imposed blockages that they mm, might not yeah. even realize that they've created. And I get to support them in isolating those blockages and then creating a different path away from those blockages. And, it's a and Tony, way. not not even so much that they've created them, but for years and years, they've been conditioned. They, they've been conditioned with those blockages that now, as a coach, you have to help them unlock and overcome. Yeah, and that's why they might not even be aware of that it may be blocking my coach used to always tell me intentions should equal results. If the results aren't what the intention is, then there's a blockage somewhere. So what I love to encourage people is being in a state of assessment. Assess how you're doing all the time. They say most high-level executives are assessing their day every 10 minutes. Every 10 wow. minutes. I yeah. assess my day every yeah. 30 minutes because I do a session every 30 minutes. I usually do between 8 or 9 to 12 sessions a day. And so I'm always assessing so I can make what? Little adjustments. And then I'm always moving forward. So I always love to coach people on assess, adjust, and keep moving forward towards your intentions. But the key to success, one of the greatest gifts, and I wanted to make sure I shared this today, that we can give ourselves mm -hmm. is the gift of self-transparency. You'd be surprised, AJ, how many people don't want to look in the mirror of their business and see it clearly for what's really happening. But the ones that can and get a coach to be able to work those through, work through those so some of those challenges, but to be able to assess how we're really doing it, being transparent with ourselves, that's where the greatness lies because then we can make really little adjustments or we can make powerful adjustments, but at least we're being honest with ourselves. And I think that's a big step for people because I believe that choices dictate our success, our choices that we make every single day is what dictates our success. It's powerful, and I love it. You know, so I'm really happy you brought this up. I'm going to quickly take you through something because at the end of 2020, okay, I said 2021, I'm stepping up. I'm going to be one of the top regional managers, one of the top recruiters here at AFN. What did I do wrong in 2020? Um, or what do I need to learn from in 2020? Let's say that. Let's say, what do I need to learn from in 2020? So here were the four pillars. And I know we're probably going to get into your pillars at some point in this conversation. Love so it. my four pillars in 2021 that I went into that made a, an amazing difference. Number one, zero. Again, zero negative thoughts. Number two, oh. eliminate mistakes 
to maximize time. Love that. Efficiency. No, no, yes, exactly. Number three, take massive action. <laughs> and number four, the big one, replace expectation with appreciation. Yeah, I think there's altitude and gratitude, brother. And and I'm just so thankful that you brought that up as really seizing this Team AFN opportunity, the opportunity that both you and I have gotten. It's an opportunity, you know, and what I love to coach people is not only are we embracing opportunities, but we become opportunity creators for other people. I love that. And I love the action piece because I did a power minute the other day on the ridiculous work ethic, but it's really about massive action versus passive action. I love to encourage daily action plans, but I tell people, whatever you put on that plan, you got to believe in it. You got to 100% believe because if we don't believe, we won't do. We won't follow through all the time. I think the true commitment indicator for our business is follow through. Not only with the people that we're working with, but with ourselves. When we say, and I'm glad you put those four pillars out for yourselves, yourself in 2020. And guess what you did? You did it. That's the key is you follow through on what you say you're going to do. When I travel in the country before COVID, people would always ask me, Tony, just give me one thing. I don't need the 12-month program. Just give me one thing that's going to change my business. I said, listen, the one thing that changed my life was do what I say I'm going to do. Once I got into that habit of doing what I say I'm going to do, 100% of the time, not 90%, not 80%, not 95%, 100% of the time, I got an integrity with myself. And it's a powerful piece to get into integrity with yourself. A new book I'm working on right now is called The Power mm-hmm. of Being an Integrity with Myself in Life and <laughs> in Business. And I truly, and I'm going to give you a secret right now that I'm learning through we're all the experience I'm going through is when we're in integrity with ourselves, people are always trying to find that way to get in the zone. How can I get in the zone, Tony? Well, here's how you get in the zone. You do what you say you're going to do. And you mm-hmm. do it every day. There's nothing that beats consistency because consistency outlasts everybody else's timing because we're in a timing business in the mortgage industry. Consistency, what? Wins. It wins no matter what because it's like the woodpecker effect. It's like, bang, bang, bang. I'm going to keep coming. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to assess and I'm going to adjust and I'm going to keep moving forward because I'm not going to up on my dream, right? It's the ocean hitting against those massive rocks until they become sand. It's nonstop. It's nonstop. Right. It's just this determination that drives us. That's why I ask everybody, what's your dream? What's your why? What's your like a purposeful why? A lot of coaches like to talk about the why. I like to talk about purposeful why. What's mm-hmm. really driving you? Once I know that, and once I know where they want to go, then we go. And I encourage people to fly. Go ahead and be a champion. Go ahead and be great. Go ahead and walk in your true, full potential every single minute. Let it go, right? Let it go. I love Don't that, bro. I'm, I'm so yeah. excited. I'm so excited that you're doing well in Thank your you. business. You deserve it, man. You're an incredible Appreciate person. Appreciate it. Thank you. you. Um, so something that really helped as well with this, uh, Tony, that um, I incorporated was setting deadlines. The, de- the deadlines made a huge difference. When I went to Matt and John and told them, I'm going to have this much volume brought to the company by the end of May, by September. And you set those deadlines and you're driven by those deadlines. I think we had a conversation when you first came to AFN and you told me you were going to do some incredible things. There was no doubt in my mind, but here's what I'm going to say about deadlines. The X factor in business always is time management. I love to calendar everything, even activities, even projects, even new presentations, not just appointments, but I calendar everything with multiple reminders. I'm 58 years old. I can get forgetful sometimes, (laughs) but time management is the X factor. Everything in our business works within our life, which works within our time management model. So I encourage all of you that are listening today, have a time management model. And I would encourage daily action planning. I use weekly action planning and I use, I use calendars for everything that I'm you doing. Have to, I have multiple, have to. multiple calendars. I have my phone. I have my outlook. Yeah. 
and I use a, an online portal called Calendly for all my coaching sessions because I'm coaching well over, I don't know, 130 people, 140 people around Team AFN right now. So they keep me pretty busy. But being efficient with your time allows what? Growth. If you can be efficient with your time, you can scale and grow. But the people that feel like they don't have the time, they don't allow themselves permission to grow at the level they want to grow because they don't feel like they can perform. It's a powerful you know, that, phenomenon. That speaks a lot to my second pillar that I learned that the mistakes I made in 2020 eliminate mistakes to maximize time. I was spending a lot of time uh, on a lot of uh on a lot of things that were go that weren't taking me to where I needed to be. And I had to learn to recognize that and eliminate that. And be honest with yourself about yeah. what those mistakes, because, yeah. you know, we're all going to make mistakes. We're human, but at, you know, doing something may maybe doesn't work or is not working, or we haven't been able to find the right adjustment with it. But I love the fact that you were really transparent with what you were doing. So you could keep making adjustments. Mistakes are, Let's face it, that's how we grow. We we grow from repetition. We take talent, make it a skill from repetition. But I think when we really grow is when maybe we fall on our face. It's okay yeah. every once in a while, as long as you're doing, you're being ethical about what you're doing. You want to do the right thing. You don't want to hurt anybody else. But sometimes we're going to make a mistake. This is a very dynamic industry. That's why the support piece is so important for all of us to be successful within whatever organization you're a part of. For our organization, Team AFN, it's everything because that's where the fusion is. That's where the energy is, is what we do together. And that's how we support each other so we can all what? Win. Win. So we can all be so successful. So we can win together, exactly. Win together, uh, I, I love that. all the time. So a very close friend of mine, an AFN associate, one of his pillars that uh, he 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 told me about a week and a half ago that uh, made a tremendous difference just in that last week and a half. Do what you have to do before you do what you want to do. <laughs> well, I love that, and I love the idea of prioritizing our activities. Um, some people really benefit from the hardest activity. First thing in the morning. And what, what they noticed is not only are they doing the activity, but it's creating some momentum. Yeah, you get momentum from getting a deal. You get momentum from closing a deal. But here's where you really get consistent momentum. Execution. Executing the hardest thing, the one thing that you're feeling weird about. It's challenging you, but you do it first. Now that is what creates momentum into our day because then we have this belief. I'm going back to belief again. But we have this belief that we can do what? Anything. Anything. Because at the end of the Anything. day, we can. But we have to push through these internal barriers that we put in front of ourselves. But once we start to push through those, and then we push through those, and then we push through those, we got the train going, and we're developing momentum within our day. Greatness happens when we get this mojo working. I love that yeah. word, mojo. Yeah. But when we get that momentum open, you make it sound good. Like, yeah. <laughs> great things are coming to us. We're 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 going to them. We're opening doors. They're opening doors for us. It's a powerful. I'm getting goosebumps right now just talking about it. Just being with you're you. About, you and I should do a call every morning, right now, brother. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about some success stories. Because, like you said, there's nothing like testimonials. So with the mentorship program, let's talk about some success stories. Uh, I know you got a ton of them. I'm gonna turn it over to you. Well, before I do, I, I, I just really want to share the, the different programs we have. We have the mentorship program. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's a 12-month program, but at the end of the day, it's just business coaching. And it's, there, it's really a true mentorship because I give my heart to everybody. I give my heart to every session. They're feeling my passion. And guess what, AJ? It's real. It, this, is not, this is not made up stuff. It's just who I am. As a person, and I and I love to encourage walking in your truth. I love to encourage the value of core values. I love to encourage maximizing strengths. And we really start to get into that in the mentorship program. While we're working time management, we're working success formula, we're working on building a dynamic opportunity center, we're working on building a database, a book of business for what? For life, for life, right? For like, how do you create generational duplication 
inside your book of business. We really like to work on that as we're continuing to develop in the mentorship program. It's a, it's a one-year program. Uh, they meet with me once or twice a month for 30 minutes. And then I realized that I needed an extension. So I created the Team AFN Master's Program. Right now, the Master's Program is so powerful. We're over $500 million for the year already, just the Master's team. But it's just, it's like business coaching on steroids, right? It's 27 minutes. Sometimes they want to meet with me once a week. Sometimes they want to meet with me once every three months. They get to choose that as long as they're consistent and as long as they're continuing to grow or at least having the mindset of I want to keep growing. And then I developed a new program called the Team AFN Operational Superstars Coaching Program, where now I get to coach Team AFN operational teammates. And I'm excited that I get to coach processors, underwriters, funders, you name it, HR, counting people. So I, I feel like it's really a paradigm in, in the industry itself to be able to coach the whole gamut of the Team AFN professionals that are happening around the country. A couple success stories. Let me just share one. I had a young lady who was a processor for 25 years. Incredible, talented. She got hired as a branch manager. She started to produce and she got in my coaching program because she wanted to learn more about production. She'd never produced before. She was kind of, you know, the second month, third month of my program, she was kind of like at one or two deals a month. Maybe she would do three, three deals a month. And I finally asked her, I said, I'm not going to mention her name. I said, when are you going to finally give yourself permission? See, I think permission is a big deal for us. We have to get, we have to believe we're worthy to what? To be great, to be everything we want to be. We're conquerors, right? 400 trillion to one. So I said, when are you going to give yourself permission to be great as a producer? As a producer in the mortgage industry, AJ, 25 second delay on the phone. And as a business coach, that's a long time of quiet on the phone. So I'm like, did I ask the wrong question? I'm like, my instincts were like, nope, that was the right question. So don't say anything. And she comes back and she says, you're right. I have. <laughs> and I said, how come? And she goes, well, only experience I have is a processor taking a loan from A to Z. But I never originated a loan. I never sold a loan before. So I guess I don't really believe in myself yet. I said, do you want to believe? Because guess what that is? See, the beauty of belief is this, AJ. It's a choice. We get to make it. And I love that. Nobody can tell us, we don't. you can't believe. No, 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 no. We get to believe. I said, do you want to believe? She goes, yes. I had her made a declaration. I had her verbally say it, sign it. Because now she made an agreement with herself. Mm -hmm. Within 90 days, she broke $10 million in one month. $10 million in one month. $10 million in one month because $10 million she gave in one month. permission to be great as a producer. I have another guy in Texas. He's one of my superstars. And, and I just love him. And this guy could turn the switch at mm -hmm. will. So the power of choices. When I first started with him a few years back, he was, you know, he was one million a month and he was happy with that. All he wanted to do was kind of travel around the country and just kind of do his thing and around all over the place and just kind of do his thing. When I told him, I said, I see you at $10 million a month consistently. What do you mean, Tony? I, I'm happy with where I am. So this is about making a choice to be successful by building a dynamic opportunity center and a powerful book of business. This is four or five years later now. He's averaging six to eight million dollars and this is what i call flip the switch i think we all have the ability or the opportunity to make the choice to say like you made in 2020 right you you flip that switch and said i'm going to 50 million a month whatever that was whatever that intention that you created for yourself for this young man he said i'm gonna flip the switch because i told him i said you have the ability to flip the switch at will to turn your business around and now all of a sudden he's six to eight million dollars a month. It was a journey, but he has the ability, just like I believe we all do, to flip the switch anytime you want to walk in your greatness. But sometimes with mentorship and business coaching, you can get support in getting there and supporting you into your greatness. I love so, that idea. So let me ask you this. So the fellow in Texas that you're talking about that was doing his million a month. And you said, I see you consistently doing six to 8 million a month. 
what were the qualities that you saw in him that made you see that? Well, the the first thing was his character. Okay. Um, getting back to core values again, he just he was so talented. It's so char- his characters were just his core values. He's one of those guys that can run for president, right? He's just he's just a a really powerful, good, genuine young man with incredible core values. And the other mm-hmm. thing is he's, he's got this charismatic personality where he's just, he could talk to anybody. And uh-huh. the other thing is I love, and I talked about it in one of my power minutes is he would just, he could will it. And it, like some people just will things like they, like, I'm going to do like when you said, and you met with Matt and John and you put it out there. It's like, I, I'm willing it. He had that. He has that ability yeah. to will it. I think we all do. Yeah. But some people just have this incredible vision. I believe we're all business artists. And what we're doing is we're creating our masterpiece every single day. And he had that ability to see it. But I had to kind of like plant a little seed like, well, I think I see you as this. And he was like, well, I I don't know how you could see that. I'm like, I could just see you as this. And all of a sudden he started to see himself as that. So one of the things a good business coach or a mentor will do is they'll support people in seeing what they see and they'll share it with them. And a lot of times people, when they're within themselves, they don't see that greatness within themselves. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. But I do. I have that ability, yeah. AJ, to see greatness in people like I see in you, like I see in our team every single day. I'm so one with our team, Team AFN. I have become one with it. It makes me powerful because I'm one with my team. And and I love the opportunity that the Shermans have given me to to support others. It's awesome. And then and then your talent and your gift what you bring is seeing that and bringing it out. You're I the love one that can see that power and bring that power out. It drives me. I wake up every single morning and I say, AJ, I can't wait to impact the people that I get to be with today and to communicate with today. I mean, I just it, like I, I'm getting goosebumps again. I'm just like <laughs> I just get so excited about what I do. And and, and it's it, I, I have a role within Team AFN. And I think that teamwork, team is everything. It's never about Anthony Casillas. It's about team and what we could do together that's what drives me that's what compels me to push myself into a higher level Mm -hmm. of greatness so let me ask you this uh you talk you talk about maximizing strengths a moment ago yeah so if you have your choice to overcome your weakness or maximize your strength what are you choosing Answer, ask me that question one more time. Okay. Here's where I get the question from. I'm, I'm going to give you a little background on this because I think this is one of the most interesting sports articles I ever wrote, uh, ever uh, read, excuse me, one of the most interesting sports articles I ever read. It's made a big impact on me. In the 1988 Olympics, you had Carl Lewis that was in the 100-meter dash that was an excellent finisher. Mm-hmm. And then you had Ben Johnson who had the greatest burst off the line. So Ben Johnson knew he was never going to be the finisher Carl Lewis was. So he just continued to work and work and work on his burst to get that opening speed. Lewis knew he was never going to be the starter that Ben Johnson was. So he just continued to work and work and work on his finishing speed. So what I'm bringing up to you is if you're, if you have someone you're mentoring and you see that they have one component that is totally their strength, but there's something else that they're just lacking in. And you have to choose, okay, so in this session today, am I going to maximize on that strength and just make them stronger at their strength? Or are we going to focus on that weakness and try to improve upon that weakness? What do you feel would be the more important strategy? Well, only I would I would focus on the challenge. I don't like that W right. word, but I would focus okay. on the challenge. The challenge. Okay, the challenge. And – and only if it was a blockage, only if it was blocking okay. their mindset, their belief, their um, execution. So we would jump into it. But I'm always so it's it's a kind of a both question. I'm going to focus on both. Okay. I think sometimes we can get lost 
in the 1% of things that aren't going well or a challenge. I call it the 99 to 1 effect. A lot of times people start to dwell on the one, what's not working, instead of focusing on the 99% of things that are really working, that are just excelling, that are incredible, that are building their business platform. So, yes, we're going to continue to focus highly on the 99 and accentuate it mm-hmm. while we're, 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 pu- we're giving time to the 1% or the challenges that they might go be going through to eliminate the blockage. Like we're going to go into why is there a weakness? What is it about that weakness? Is it a mindset? Is it, is it, is it an activity? Is it a time management thing? Is it an execution thing? And we're going to go right at it and we're going to like pick it out like a weed. But we're not going to pick it out at the top of the ground. We're going to get into the root and get it out of there. But I don't like to dwell so much right. all the time right. on the one. I like to I like to celebrate the 99 as well, my friend. That's right. That's right. So we brought up the pillars a moment ago. Love your pillars. Love your pillars. Do we want to uh do we want to go ahead and touch on this in the uh in the few minutes we have here? Pillars about the Metro team or just yes. about success itself. I, I just think that I, the one thing I really want to talk about is kind of the future of what I see our industry is. Sure. Um, there's obviously a lot of consumer direct going along, going on right now, but mm-hmm. for people that are still self generous, I love the idea of building a dynamic opportunity center, multiple streams yes. or dynamics or lead channels, lead funnels of where opportunities flow from every, all the opportunities end up in your database, in your book of business. But I think it's so important for us in the future, moving forward, is to create our own opportunities as mortgage loan originators before the realtor has to give them to us. We're gonna, I, so I love to encourage working with other entities in your business. I used to love to have multiple businesses that I built relationships with that weren't even in the real estate community. They were different entities like financial planners, insurance agents, mm-hmm. pool companies, floor covering companies, you know, you name it, termite companies, you know, I, I whatever entity, especially it, it, it could work within the home industry, but I think it's important for us moving forward to build dynamics in our business when we're getting leads for multiple streams of dynamics, and then we can reciprocate with our real estate partners. We can, re- we can really start to build more opportunities for us. So I like to have the mindset of be an opportunity builder in your business. Don't just wait for somebody to give you an opportunity. Go out and create opportunities for yourself. I think that's a powerful thing in the future. I think that's kind of what's happening in our business. And there's so many. Here's what I'm going to tell you, AJ. You might not. You will get it because you have a powerful mindset. I think there's opportunities everywhere. Within a mile radius of you or any professional around the country, I believe if you just look around, there's thousands of opportunities all around you. One of the guys that I really looked up to at our in our company, mm-hmm. I won't say who he is, but he's incredible. <laughs> and he's dynamic. And I got a chance to talk to him and I said, what drives you every day? And he says, my family. And he goes, and I said, how do you do it every day? And he goes, The first thing I do in the morning is I look out the window of my office and I see a million people and those, all those people are my opportunity. And it's my job to let them know what I do and what I can do for them. And then I look back in my office and I see me and I say, it's, and he he tells himself it's on me to create and build those relationships with those million people. Yeah. There's opportunities everywhere. Don't get caught up in the marketplace. I know there's things that are fluctuating, but always realize there's people everywhere that are always looking for an opportunity to better themselves financially. And I think that us in the mortgage industry, we have that incredible opportunity, responsibility, Mm -hmm. and it's a humble gift that we have that we get to support people around the country. So go ahead and open yourself up and let everybody know what you do. Yes. Yep. And how you can help them and bring a value proposition to them. And the other thing is I wanted to share with people is start a networking pod. Get yourself six or seven other companies and start to build relationships with them. Instead of being just a part of a big chamber or whatever, which is great, 
but start your own little pod, six or seven entities with the only mission in, in mind, and that is to share business with each other. Watch what happens. And it, it is uh, it is commonly known out there that the, uh, the the mortgage expert in those pods usually is the winner of the pod. Absolutely. <laughs> it for people. But we want to make sure everybody's getting yeah. supported. And, and that's really the value proposition is how can I become your success partner? It's one yes. of the major, my major focuses as a business coach at Team AFN is how can I become your success partner today? I'd love Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know, I I, um, I recently listened to Ed Milet that will go right along with what we're talking about right here. He said, if you have a great message, don't change your message. Get it out to more people. Absolutely. Get your message out to more people. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in my case, how amazing AFN is, how I've changed lives of people that came here to AFN for the opportunity. In your case, uh, the, the lives that you changed of AFN Associates, the, the guy in Texas, the uh, the young processor that uh, had $10 million a month. That's our message. That's what we're getting out there, how we've changed lives. It's a gift. And I tell people all the time, don't be shy. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy about your message. Don't be shy about your value proposition. And don't be shy about what you do for to help people. And You'd be surprised, AJ, how many people kind of have a little bit of call reluctance. They have some rejection challenges. And I just encourage them to go ahead and walk in their greatness and walk in their truth and be able to just offer the opportunity for people and use a simple word like share. By the way, it would mean the world to me if you would share me with people that you know. You'd mm -hmm. be surprised, AJ, how that word share resonates a little bit more than refer. Refer is a great word in the, in the in the business industry, but I think with humans, we love that word share. We love to share, yeah. We love to share good things with other humans. Go out there and be a good thing, right? Go out there and be a good thing, absolutely. So I knew this was going to happen here, Tony. So we're um we're we're, we're over our time, but who cares? No. Because this is great. <laughs> this no. Is <laughs> This is absolutely amazing. What else here, Tony, while we have this floor, while we uh, have the Team AFN Fly the Flag podcast going on, what else do we want to touch on today before we wrap this up? Well, I, I just want to leave everybody with this. It's just, it's okay to be everything you want to be. My, my coach used to always say, Tony, you can fly as long as you have good intentions. You never want to hurt anybody. You want to do it by the book. In our world, we're in the compliance industry doing mortgages, right? But we're doing mortgages, but it's very compliant. And you don't want to hurt yourself. But as long as you're not, as long as your your intentions are good and you're doing your best and you're giving it all you got, you can fly. Go ahead and fly. You are the one that has been given this opportunity. I believe when we come to that place at the end of our life, the only thing we're going to be thinking about is what we didn't do that we wanted to do. The dreams that we had. Yeah. I remember when I, I just published my first book in, in January. I, I, it took me five years, but it was a dream. It was something that came to me. I believe sometimes, and you might, you might not understand this, AJ. You might not be getting what I'm saying, but I'm going to tell you. I think sometimes dreams, opportunities a poem that we want to write, a book, a we want to start a, a branch, we want to start a region, we want to start a company, we want to start something. I believe they come to us. And it's our job to manifest them into reality. And if we don't, we're letting them down. If there's something out there that somebody's listening today that really wants to do, that's good intention, that's a good thing, it's going to help people, I encourage you to do it and to fly. My niece, she's like, Tony, I want to be a rapper. And I was like, well, what have you done? Have you wrote a song yet? Have you gone in the studio? Have you done a drum beat yet? Have you met a producer? No. I said, if you want to be a rapper, mm. do it. There's a difference between trying and wanting and doing, in my opinion. Start. Whatever it is that intention you have for your business, start. And keep moving forward. Assess, adjust, keep moving forward. But start and do and watch what happens. You'll love as, it. As, as T. Harvecker wrote, 
Ready, fire, aim. <laughs> I love that, brother. Ready, fire, that. aim. It's all about yeah. the execution. Get out there and execute. And on your daily execution, like Jim Rohn said, you got to write it out before you do it. Write it out. That's why I'm a big fan of daily action plans. They really keep us on track. They really keep me on track in my day because distractions can come in our business in the mortgage industry. So have that daily action plan, those items, those activities that you believe in. And then what? Follow through. Do every single one of them. Give it all you got. Bring passion. Bring excitement to everything you do in your business and great things will happen. Well, I'm ready to go run through this wall over here. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So listen up, Team AFN. If you want to learn more about the mentorship program, the master's program, the superstars program, reach out to our marketing team. If you're not yet a member of Team AFN, love what you've heard here, want to er learn more, reach out to us here at Team AFN. We can introduce you to Tony, grow the company, come over here, build with us. Again, uh, this was absolutely amazing. I knew that this was going to be one of the best Fly the Flag podcasts ever. So, uh, Tony, I mean, can't thank you enough for for being here. I mean, you are uh, the, the, the fun, excitement, the red, white, and blue. You are everything that exemplifies AFN. Well, AJ, first off, it is an honor. And uh, I'm honored to be a part uh, of, of the podcast, and I'm honored to be a part of Team AFN. And I tell everybody this, if you're looking at AFN, give it a, a serious look, because I'm going to tell you, Team AFN, the Sherman family changed my life. It took my life in a different trajectory. So what I would encourage you, if you get the opportunity to be a part of Team AFN, do it. Do it. It definitely changed my life. So thank you for the opportunity today, AJ. Of course. Appreciate everything. So Team AFN, once again. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Team AFN Fly the Flag podcast. Thank you for listening to this episode of AFN's Fly the Flag podcast. If you're a successful mortgage professional seeking an amazing company to treat you like family, we would love to start that conversation. Reach out at joinafn.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more great episodes with industry pros.